राधे राधे इन माई प्रीवियस टॉक्स आई एक्सप्लेन दैट एज इंडिविजुअल्स वी आर सीकिंग परफेक्ट हैप्पीनेस ऑल्सो नोन एज डिवाइन हैप्पीनेस सेंस टाइम ए मेमोरियल थ्रू आर एवरी एंडवर ऑल ऑफ आर एक्शंस आर पॉइंटिंग इन वन डरेक्शन ओनली एंड दैट इज द डरेक्शन ऑफ लास्टिंग इनफिनिट हैप्पीनेस Now this happiness has a personified form known as God. So the question that naturally arises in our mind is if God is who we are seeking and we have sought since eternity all of our efforts have been an indirect search for God who is perfect happiness personified then how can we reach him so the obvious answer is through the knowledge of god we need to attain the knowledge of god and who other than god can bestow that knowledge upon us so at the very beginning of this creation god endowed us with that perfect divine knowledge in the form of the vedas The Vedas are eternal and they eternally reside within God. And that is why the Vedas also explain Nishvasi Tamasya Vedah. That the Vedas are the very breath of God. But in order for us to understand the knowledge within the Vedas, we need someone to guide us. someone to help us understand the depth of the knowledge that is infused within the scriptures and such a personality is known as a saint someone who has experienced it in a practical form is known as a saint now on this topic of spiritual knowledge or the knowledge of god I would like to share thoughts on another aspect of divine love philosophy and that is the master of the chariot who is the master and what is this chariot let us try to understand so there's a very beautiful analogy in the vedas depicted in these verses आत्मानग्वमरथिनन्विद्धिशरीरग्वमरथमेवतु बुद्धिम् So these verses explain our very plight and the harmonious relationship between our body, mind and the self which is known as the atma. So these verses explain that we should know the self or the soul as the master of the chariot and the body as the chariot. know the intellect as the charioteer and the mind as the bridle the sense organs are the horses yoked together to pull it so through these verses shri krishna supreme brahma shri krishna explains that he has given this chariot in the form of this human body to us so that we can reach him However, since time immemorial, we have been traveling and yet we have not reached our destination. What is our destination? Perfect divine love. That is our destination. Even though even though God's abode is not far away. God instructs us to simply turn around that is all we have to do is simply turn around and set our course in the right direction but 
The sad reality is that we do not wish to turn around. Instead, we accept one another to be our father, mother, son, wife, husband, etc. And seek our goal of perfect happiness through them. We are begging door to door for happiness from those who do not possess it. And they, in turn, beg us for the very same thing. All of us are beggars for the same happiness, and that happiness is God Himself. And yet, we try to fool and deceive each other. Hey, come to me. I will make you happy. I know how to make you happy. This is what everyone is saying. At times, we do realize there are times in our life, here and there, when we do realize that people and things of this world actually cannot give us true everlasting happiness, ever increasing happiness. No one in this world can deny. That the happiness that they experience is not everlasting. It has a beginning, it has an end. But our realization, unfortunately, is temporary. It is short lived, and within a moment of realizing that people around us in our life. Cannot really give us true everlasting happiness. Our mind goes back into this world to embark on yet another search for happiness. This chariot is extremely precious, and when I say this chariot, just as a reminder, I'm referring to this human body. There are 8.4 million forms of life. And this human body is the only form that has been endowed with the extreme privilege of reaching its ultimate destination. So it is extremely precious, and we must realize how fortunate we are. This human body is the only vehicle in a fleet of 8.4 million that is capable of taking us to our destination. Ultimately, we have to, we have to submit or surrender to God, reach His abode and meet Him, and until we do so, we will never be able to rest. So the question is. What are we to do? First, we must govern the mind and the senses with the intellect according to the instructions of a God-realized saint. Now, here I would like to clarify that the intellect is the discriminating aspect of the mind, and the mind is the desiring aspect of the mind. So, in other words, the mind is only one, but it has two facets: the intellect and the mind. So, the intellect it discriminates, and the mind desires. So, we have to govern the mind on the instructions or on the power of the intellect, and by doing so, we can change the direction of our running. If you simply reverse your course, you will see that God is standing right behind you. It is an eternal fact. We all do this, except our mother, father, husband, as being ours, life after life, and so. Out of ignorance, we have sought our goal of divine bliss through them. But when we receive proper 
authentic divine knowledge, as I mentioned, through a divine personality, then we begin to contemplate changing our course and begin to understand the true nature of our relationship with God. So when we fully surrender or when we rather join our intellect to a God-realized saint and implicitly follow his instructions, then we can govern the whimsy of our mind, of our desirous mind with the intellect and be able to control our senses. And then we can direct or rather redirect the chariot in the form of this human body to take us to our destination, our ultimate destination of eternal welfare. So it is our mind that has led us astray in this world. And now we have to use our intellect or the faculty of knowledge, which is the power of discrimination that we all have, and to be able to ride this chariot to our ultimate destination. And that destination is God. So I will leave you with these thoughts. Shrimat Sadguru Sarkar Ki Jai Shrimat Yugal Sarkar Ki Jai 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 Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe